Having an edge is what separates winning traders from losing traders. Those without an edge may win trades occasionally, but they are unlikely to profit consistently. An edge is necessary, otherwise a trader is essentially donating their money to the market. In this video I will show you how to use the RSI indicator with an edge. Let me show you how to change the settings of your RSI. So first of all open it, then we're gonna start adjusting the bands, get rid of the middle band, we don't need it. Then adjust the upper band to 52 and the lower one to 48. You can change it to a solid line, make it a little bit thicker and change the background to grey because this is a neutral zone. Now all you guys have to remember is that above the 52 level this is a book control zone. The little grey zone here from 48 to 52 is a neutral zone and below it is the bear control zone. As you can see while the RSI is in the bear control zone we are getting these dumps. Basically the seller started control so the market is going down. While the RSI is just hanging around the neutral zone we are just going sideways because no one is really in control of the market. There is a balance between the buyers and the sellers and when the RSI is in the bull control zone we are getting these pumps, these uptrends. The next thing that you have to do is to add an exponential moving average to the RSI. So you do that by clicking these three dots, add indicator strategy on the RSI, type EMA moving average exponential, click on it and now we are gonna adjust this exponential moving average. We wanna make it red, that's the first thing we are gonna do. We gonna make it thicker and we're gonna switch to inputs and change this to 45. Now we want to also adjust the simple moving average that is by default coming with the RSI indicator. So we want to change the length to 9 and we want to go to style and change the color to green and make it a little bit thicker. So now we have the 9 simple moving average which is the green and the 45 exponential moving average which is the red. And I will add this on the chart as well because I want to show you something but you don't really have to do it. So let's add the simple moving average and the exponential moving average and I'm doing that just to show you how the moving averages on the RSI react much faster to the changes in the market than the moving averages on price itself right so for example if we go back here you will see that we got a bear cross right here and by bear cross I mean when the green cross is below the red well on price checkout when that happened right a lot later and it's always like this so for example you see when we got the bull cross on the RSI it happened somewhere here while on price it happened days after that so we can get rid of the moving averages now on price we don't need it I just wanted to show you the difference now let me show you how you can trade with this setup you can simply enter short trades on bear crosses and long trades on bull crosses so let me show you we got a bear cross on the moving averages here so you could have entered a short placed your stop loss wherever it makes sense and then you can simply have a take profit target based on rewards to risk ratio right so you can simply target 3 to 1 or something like that or you can have a take profit target a resistance right so you can draw your support and resistance levels you can figure out that there is a whole support zone right here so you can take profits on the support and for bull crosses is the opposite right so whenever you get a bull cross you can enter a long trade let's see where that happened it happened I think on this candle right so you can place your stop loss wherever it makes sense you can target 3 to 1 or whatever your preferred risk reward ratio is and you see that this was a nice trade you can also do something else let's put back the moving averages right here and let's adjust it we want both to be red and we want this to be the 200 simple and 200 exponential moving averages so you gotta change the values and what you can do with this is basically while the price is below the 200 exponential moving averages you can only take short signals and while the price is above the exponential moving averages you can only take long signals this is something that might potentially improve your performance with a strategy like this you can also exit your trades when you see a divergence right and if you don't know what divergence Later in this video I will teach you regular divergences and hidden divergences. But before we do that I want to show you another strategy. And for this second strategy we don't need this. We also have to adjust the RSI a little bit. Uh, we can actually even hide it because we don't really need it. And we also don't need the simple moving average. We just need the exponential moving average. And our bull and bear control zone. And what I want to show you guys now is a strategy that you can use for position trading. Position trading is a long term trading where you basically hold your trades for a while right and this is my favorite type of trading what you have to know is that when the 45 EMA goes in the bear control zone it's good to hold shorts and as you can see this happened right here in this range the $30,000 range and then Bitcoin went down to $25,000 so far and we are still in this bear control zone and you can see the opposite as well when Bitcoin goes into this bull control zone which happened somewhere in this range when we were at $16,900 when you see this it's time to go long and to hold your position 
positioned basically until the EMA goes back into the back control zone and you can see that you are going to ride this whole move up and you are going to exit somewhere here. And this strategy is good for higher time frames, especially when you are trading long because Bitcoin sometimes makes crazy moves right and with this strategy you can catch the majority of it. Now let's quickly talk about divergences. So a regular bearish divergence is when you see price making a high and then a higher high while the RSI is making a high and then a lower high. This is a sign of weakness in the momentum and it tells us that there is possibly gonna be a pause in the uptrend right or a potential reversal in some cases. And as you can see the market just went sideways for a while and then it went down. When you see price making a low and then a lower low while the RSI is making a low and then a higher low. This is again sign of weakness right and it tells us that this downtrend is either going to pause or it's gonna completely reverse and in this case we got a little bit of a triple divergence right here because price actually made a lower low and a higher low on the RSI right and as you can see this was the bottom then the market reversed. I personally like the second type of divergences which are hidden divergences and there is a hidden divergence right here but first of all let's look at the regular bearish divergence. So price made a high then a higher high while the RSI made a higher and then a lower high so this is a regular bearish divergence. What is more important in this example is that we then got a hidden bullish divergence. So price made a low here and then a little bit of an equal low and ideally this would be a higher low right but equal is fine as well while the RSI made a low and then much lower low. Well this is a hidden bullish divergence and what this tells us is that there's gonna be a trend continuation and that's exactly what happened. When you see a regular bearish followed by a hidden bullish the hidden bullish cancels the regular bearish and you can expect that the trend will continue and the opposite applies as well when you see a regular bullish followed by hidden bearish where it means that the downtrend is gonna continue and the regular bullish is cancelled.